All right, this is sad news. Everything we have been telling you for months, we have been reporting for months that the media has ignored for over a year has been confirmed this weekend. I want you to pay very close attention. It gets somewhat complicated, but it's a sad chapter in American history. You have a Trump campaign associate. His name is Carter Page. He was spied on during the height of the 2016 election by Barack Hussein Obama's DOJ through the use of a FISA warrant, the hardest warrant to get. And tonight we know for sure, totally confirmed that the justification for this warrant was a document. You've heard it before. The unverified, uncorroborated, phony dossier put together by a foreign national with funneled money through a law firm to an op research group paid for by Hillary Clinton and the DNC. And by the way, this was all full of Russian lies. The whole bunch of it, Russian lies. Every single thing that they said about Donald Trump was not true. Now, we told you about Perkins Coie, the law firm. We told you about Fusion GPS. We told you about the foreign national, Christopher Steele. They dug up dirt on Clinton's opponent with Russian lies. Let me repeat, Mr. Mueller, Russian lies to the American people to affect the outcome of a presidential election. Let me put it more simply. Obama's DOJ and FBI were spying on the campaign of an opposing party in a presidential election year, using op research that Hillary Clinton paid for. Deep state operatives tried to rig and steal a presidential election. This is what happens in banana republics. This is Venezuela. The type of propaganda would rival Pravda in the former Soviet Union. This should never happen in the United States of America, period. And the mainstream corrupt media in this country has been completely missing in action. Make no mistake, this phony, dirty Russian dossier wasn't just referenced in the newly released documents on late Saturday night. Instead, Steele's dossier was, in fact, the FISA application, all four of them. But still, look at your screen. See these names? James Comey, Sally Yates, Dana Puente, and Andrew McCabe, Rod Rosenstein, all signed off on this warrant and all three subsequent renewals. They repeatedly lied to FISA court judges four separate times. Rod Rosenstein lied. McCabe lied. Nothing new for him. And Yates and Comey and the rest of them all lied. And they all signed off on a warrant application based on a document that is so duplicitous, even Steele himself, in court proceedings in Great Britain, conceded that the dossier was not confirmed or verified. He referred to it as raw intelligence. And he said the chances of some of it even being true true were 50-50. And Christopher Steele was ultimately fired as an FBI source for lying and leaking. And still, in the FISA warrants, after his firing, they claimed to FISA judges that Steele was credible. He was fired for lying and leaking. And meanwhile, James Comey admitted he knew the dossier was unverified and salacious. And let's not forget, fired FBI director actually denied he told a lie to our own Brett Baer that the dossier was in fact playing a major role in the FISA application the hardest warrant to ever get they lied to the judges repeatedly take a look you called the dossier unverified salacious why did you use that to the FISA court to ask for surveillance for Carter Page not only use it, but you led with it. A bulk of that FISA application deals with that dossier. Why? Yeah, that's not my recollection, Brett. And I don't know that the FISA application has been released. My recollection was it was part of a broader mosaic of facts that were laid before the FISA judge to obtain a FISA warrant. There was a lot more than the dossier in the FISA application? My recollection was there was a significant amount of additional material about Page and why there was probable cause to believe he was an agent of a foreign power. And the dossier was part of that, but was not all of it or a critical part of it. What he said was a lie. This lie was parroted again and again by Democrats, the biggest liar in the country, Adam Schiff. Let's look at him lying to you. The information that was used in part uh, in the FISA application came from a trusted uh, source, Christopher Steele, uh, someone who is a respected uh, member of British intelligence. 
Uh, and it was part of a full package that was presented to the FISA court. And it would have been negligent, frankly, given what the FBI knew about Carter Page, the history that he had, the fact he'd been a target of Russian recruitment uh, even prior to this, the fact that they went out and interviewed him in March, even before Christopher Steele uh, produced any part of the so-called dossier, uh, that they were acting in good faith. No, Mr. Schiff, you knew, and we all now know, it was the bulk of the application. He's one of the biggest liars in the country with 500 TV appearances. Well, about that. Meanwhile, remember, it was the deputy AG, Rod Rosenstein, who was conflicted in so many different ways. He actually signed off on the last final FISA renewal against Carter Page, who had this to say. Rod, listen to your own words about the sanctity of getting a FISA warrant. What you said back in May. Apply these standards to yourself, knowing what we now know. The way we operate in the Department of Justice, if we can accuse somebody of wrongdoing, we have to have admissible evidence and credible witnesses. We need to prepare to prove our case in court. And we have to affix our signature to the charging document. That's something that not everybody appreciates. Uh, there's a lot of talk about FISA applications. And many people that I, I see talking about it seem not to recognize uh, what a FISA application A FISA application is actually a warrant, just like a search warrant. Uh, in order to get a FISA uh, search warrant, you need an affidavit signed by a career federal law enforcement officer who swears that the information in the affidavit is true and correct to the best of his knowledge and belief. Uh, and that's the way we operate. And if it's wrong, sometimes it is, if you find out there's anything incorrect in there, that person is going to face consequences. Are you going to face consequences? Jeff Sessions, where are you tonight? Your country needs you to do your job tonight. And by the way, is Christopher Steele, Rod, is he credible to you? And to the best of Rod's knowledge, the basis of the 2016 FISA warrant slash warrants against the Trump campaign associate, we now know the following. It was unverified. It was uncorroborated, as Rod Rosenstein said it must be. It was untrue. It was a document full of Russia lies. And they all signed off on it. And by the way, in fact, everyone who signed off on this misled FISA court just, uh, judges and propagated lies in order to knowingly spy on a campaign and rig a presidential election in their favor. And the media took this bait. They were fed by Christopher Steele at the behest of Fusion GPS, and they sent it out to the media. It is the biggest single scandal in American history, and your media is deaf, blind, and dumb, and overpaid and lazy. Which brings us to Carter Page. Now, tonight, besides and despite extensive surveillance from the federal government, why is it Page hasn't been charged with a crime? Has anyone asked that question? Despite Obama's DOJ alleging he might be a Russian agent, what they told the FISA courts? Why is Carter Page a free man tonight? In fact, according to Page, uh, and I interviewed him for an hour on radio today, he actually was debriefed by the CIA and the FBI after many of his visits to Russia, cooperating with them, helping his own government, he said. Here's what he said on my radio show. It's funny. Not only did they lie, it's they have two main themes which are totally contradictory. They call me a quote unquote foreign agent. But then at the same time, they say I'm a target of recruitment. Right. So which one is it? I mean, there, there's so many inconsistencies and it's it's just completely beyond comprehension. Our own Greg Jarrett, whose reporting has been flawless in all of this, will join us in a minute, probably summed up this document best. And according to his legal analysis, here are the main takeaways from the FISA warrant. First, the warrant application was the dossier, like we've been saying, front and center, the bulk of information. That means Nunes was right, the Grassley-Graham memo was right. The Democrats lied. The FISA court was purposefully misled on a lot of fronts and not explicitly told the nature of this unverified dossier with Russian lies. There would have been no warrant without the dossier. Remember, even Andrew McCabe said that. James Comey lied about the dossier's role in this warrant. The the FISA court never knew Hillary bought and paid for this. They purposely withheld that kind of important piece of information. And the FBI relied on news accounts and lied to judges, including what's called circular reporting from Yahoo News, 
they used the dossier as the basis for one of their reports. Steele lied, but was still, quote, credible by the FBI. Does that make sense? Page has never been indicted. The FBI never actually interviewed Page, although he said he was back in March to me. The dossier was unverified, and yet it was used to obtain warrants. How dare Rod Rosenstein and everybody else sign off on that? They are now violating, shredding our Constitution, violating our Fourth Amendment rights. And why is it all redacted? Let's give it to the American people. Trey Gowdy even said he's seen no collusion from this document up. And still tonight, we have even more questions than even earlier. This FISA application is heavily redacted. The American people deserve to see it. I am calling for all of this warrant to be unredacted. The president can do this. And according to my sources, if the final FISA warrant is released, Rod Rosenstein is finished as his role in his role as deputy AG. But now, because of the blatant abuse of power that took place at the highest levels of your government, the Trump administration rightly tonight is taking important steps and calling for certain Obama-era officials to be stripped of their security clearances. This should have happened a long time ago, knowing what we now know. Take a look. Not only is the president looking to take away uh, Brennan's security clearance, he's also looking into the clearances of Comey, Clapper, Hayden, Rice, and McCabe. The president is exploring the mechanisms to remove security clearance because they've politicized and in some cases monetized their public service and security clearances, making baseless accusations of improper contact with Russia or being influenced by Russia against the president is extremely inappropriate, and the fact that people with security clearances are making these baseless charges provides inappropriate legitimacy to accusations with zero evidence. Well said, Sarah Sanders, right on the money. Thank God. They all abuse their power, the power that we give them. None of them should have security clearances. It's all true. They fixed the investigation to help their favored candidate, Hillary Clinton, the worst obstruction of justice case I've ever seen in my life. And in the case of Hillary, misled the American people. Literally, she violated the Espionage Act, mishandled, classified, top secret, special access programming information information and destroyed such two separate felonies, then rigged an investigation clearly into Donald Trump. Their security clearances and are now obviously a clear and present danger to this country. And meanwhile, the press is spinning in circles. But let us be clear tonight. All these people involved in the biggest political scandal of our lifetime, Robert Mueller, this is your collusion story. Robert Mueller, maybe you want to get your pit bull, Andrew Weissman, on this. Hillary Clinton, the DNC, and the paid-for Russian lies to rig an election and lie to the American people. All done at the highest levels of our government. You literally using a warrant process and lying to judges and the bulk of the information judges are fed so that they can spy on an opposition party candidate associate is full of Russian lies. So maybe you'll have a little more time on your hands and go after, if I may, these lies that were bought and paid for by Hillary to Russia, all designed to propagandize the American people. Let me put it another way. Lie to the American people. Mr. Mueller, do your job tonight. If you care about truth, if you care about justice, if you care about the system of justice in this country being abused at this high level, if you care that somebody actually paid for Russian lies to misinform the American people, and that information was spread by some of the highest levels of our government, how do you justify Russian lies being used to get a warrant on an American citizen? It was never verified. It was never corroborated. It was never even looked at. It was just propagated. And these judges, when are we going to hear from them? I never met a judge in my life that likes to be lied to. Where I grew up, where my mom's a prison guard and my dad worked in family court probation, Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. May it please the court. May it please the court that these judges now be told that they've been lied to to this extent by our own top officials in our government to steal an election.